Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Daniel, this is Play the Game, and we are gonna take a quick look comparing the Marvel Dice Throne Kickstarter Battle Chest to the Marvel Dice Throne Retail version. Since we posted our playthrough, we have gotten a lot of questions about what the differences are, if you should, if it's worth like looking out for a, um, either an eBay or a retailer that has the Kickstarter version of the Battle Chest or just get the retail version. So we're gonna break down the key differences between those two options so that you can make an informed decision. Now, this is not gonna be an in-depth unboxing. We do have a full unboxing of the retail version and Devin, who was kind enough to loan us his battle chest, has a full unboxing of the Kickstarter version on his channel. I will leave links to all that below as well as our full playthrough. We did a really fun playthrough of Loki versus Thor versus Spider-Man with Devin, Allison and I, and it was a ton of fun. So I'll leave links to all of those videos below so you can go take a look at those. So now let's jump in and see what the differences are between these. Now, the characters offered in each set are the same. The battle chest includes all eight characters from the Kickstarter, while the retail version comes in three different boxes. You have the core set with these four characters, and then you have two additional add-on sets that add two characters each. I do not know the price breakdown, so I can't tell you whether it would be cheaper to go buy the battle chest or to buy these separately. I just know that these are the mixes of, or the, how they come in the retail. You have Scarlet Witch, Thor, Loki, Spider-Man, Spider Miles Morales, and the core set. And then you have a second set with Black Widow and Doctor Strange, and then another set with Captain Marvel versus Black Panther. Now you do not need all of these. These two will battle with each other, these two will battle with each other, and they can all be mixed in, and they are fully compatible with any other Dice Throne set. So if you just wanna try it out and get just one of these two sets, you can do that and you will be able to play a full dice throne game with that. You do not need all eight characters or the core set to play. So within those sets, let's look at the differences. The main retail edition comes with the four players. The Kickstarter version comes with a set of color-coded game tray. Now they both come with the full game tray. So let's look at Loki. They both come with the exact same molded game trays. So they are the custom game trays for each character. Big difference is that in the um, in the battle chest, the Kickstarter battle chest, you can see they're color coded. So each character is color coded. They have these nice slots they slip into. In the retail version, they just sit in the box. There's four per box. And in those boxes, there's two stacked on top of each other, but they all have the game trays. As for the core set of the box, they're identical. The insert is identical. It's the exact same insert. The player boards are identical. There is nothing different that I can see about the player boards between the Kickstarter and retail version. Now, the Kickstarter version does come with a promo pack of 24 cards standard. That is going to be eight randomizer cards. So if you don't wanna pick a specific character, you can use the randomizer cards to help you choose a character to play with. They also come with a mythic ability card that, that kind of supercharges your character on setup. So this gets set out during setup. It's a nice, it's kind of a foil, kind of holographic. It's not a foil card, but it's got some shiny holographic elements to it. And then each character comes with one additional ability card. It is marked on the bottom that it is a promo card. So this is Loki's Dash of Mischief card. Each character has one of those. Again, they are marked as promo cards. So if you do get the Dice Throne set, the, the battle chest, you can look at those and know which ones are the additional cards. The dice in the Kickstarter version are slightly different. I don't know how well you can see this on the overhead camera, but these are the Kickstarter dice. They have a swirly pattern in the actual dice. The dice in the retail version are just solid colors. The symbols, the imprints, the colors of the symbols are all the same, but the Kickstarter dice do have this swirly pattern in the dice themselves. Other than that, the full deck, the health counters, the tokens are exactly the same. The Kickstarter version has cardboard tokens. They're not special kind of enamel tokens or anything like that. They are cardboard tokens, cardboard health counters. They are identical. So you can see this is the, um, the combat point counters, identical. The health counters, exactly the same. And they do all, Loki's is not in here, but they do also come with a token to use for, or a standee to use for dice throne adventures. Now, the card sleeves do not come standard with the Kickstarter set, but both trays do have room for sleeved cards. They have two spots for cards, so you can fit sleeved cards in both trays. The card sleeves are available as an add-on, so you can get the custom card sleeves, but if you just wanna sleeve your cards separately, 
there is room in the retail set for sleeved cards. Now, one other thing is Loki's Illusion cards do come in a, it says they're a synthetic card. So they're a little sturdier. They're not paper cards. These are not cards that you draw. These are cards you use when you activate Loki's Illusion ability. So it doesn't matter that they're a different material as for like being able to feel them in the deck because they're not shuffled in the deck. Uh, the regular version does come with three standard. They're like a linen finish card. So it's the standard cards. The Kickstarter comes with these, these kind of heftier synthetic cards. Those are the main differences in the actual content. So you have your randomizer cards, you have your additional ability for each character, and then you have your, um, your mythic ability for each character. Everything else appears to be the same between each cards. The player boards, the, um, the player leaflets, all of that are the same, regardless of whether you are playing the Kickstarter or the retail version of the game. Now, the battle chest obviously includes everything in one box. They fit in here nicely. They have the little slots for them. And it does have this nice, I don't know how well you can see this, but it has a nice hard plastic insert that goes in that is going to take the strain off of the box and probably make the box itself last longer. They all fit in nicely. It's, it's a nice setup. And I do like the plastic, but that is exclusive to the Kickstarter. Now, one other thing that is exclusive to the Kickstarter is the Thor character includes a metal hammer. It's a zinc metal hammer. It's very heavy. It also includes the cardboard hammer. So again, it's not affecting the gameplay at all, but it is a nice little custom Kickstarter exclusive piece. They said they're not going to produce this ever again, I believe is what it said on the Kickstarter. So that is exclusive to the Kickstarter. So if you want that, you will need to get a Kickstarter version of the game. Now, each character did have card sleeves available as an add-on for the Kickstarter, but they were not included in the base set. These are the custom sleeves for each character, but they're standard cards. You can sleeve them with standard sleeves if you want. And again, even the, the retail version does come with space for sleeved cards. They also have playmats available that were not part of the base set or the core um, pledge level. So these are Devin's. He got the Miles Morales Spider-Man and the Loki playmat. There are, I believe, playmats available for each character and then one playmat that has all of the characters. There are also dice trays available as an add-on that are not part of the base set that I do not have here because Devin did not add those to his pledge and that's the only access to the Kickstarter version that I have right here. So those are the key differences between the retail and the Kickstarter versions. You have one box versus three. You have some promo cards. Um, you have Thor's hammer and you have color coded sets that all fit in one box, but the core gameplay is the same. They are all fully interchangeable with any other dice throne set. So you can mix this with your dice throne season one or two with the new Santa Claus dice throne that's coming out. If you want to match up some Avengers versus some Santa Clauses, you can do that. They're fully interchangeable. The core gameplay is the same. It is just those promo cards. And then depending on which pledge level you buy if you do want to go out and find a different or a, a Kickstarter version to purchase secondhand or at your local game store. If they backed it at a retailer pledge, you might find some play mats, some dice trays, some card sleeves, but those are not part of the core battle chest. So don't expect to find those if you just find someone selling the Kickstarter battle chest. Um, I have seen dice thrown available at Target. I don't know what the retail release plans are and what stores they will be available in, or if it's going to be a Target exclusive, you'll have to check with the publishers for that. But I have seen pictures of this set right here showing up online on Target shelves. So you should be able to start getting the Dice Throne retail version if you are interested. I believe that's everything we need to cover. Again, we have a full playthrough of this. We have an in-depth unboxing on our channel of the retail version. Devin has an in-depth unboxing of the Kickstarter version on his channel. I will leave links to all of that below. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, if I missed anything, if I glossed over anything that you're interested in, please leave me a comment and I will do my best to answer it. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.